Let's take a look at whether xenon trioxide, that's XeO3, is polar or nonpolar. So first off, we have the structure here, and you'll notice that something kind of strange. Xenon has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 electrons around it. But that's okay, xenon can have an expanded octet. Each oxygen atom would have 2, 4, and then we'd have lone pairs out here around each oxygen atom. So each oxygen atom, that does have to have an octet. So this is the Lewis structure for xenon trioxide. With polarity, we want to look at the difference in the electronegativity between the xenon and the oxygen. So let's go to the periodic table. And we don't really think of noble gases as having electronegativity, but in the cases where they do form bonds, like with krypton, xenon, we do have an electronegativity value. And for xenon, that's 2.60. For oxygen, we have 3.44. So we have a pretty big difference in electronegativity. So because of this difference, 0 0.084, this is a polar bond. But because this lone pair up here, it's pushing these oxygens down, we don't have a symmetrical molecule. So all of these oxygen atoms down here, which are more negative, that means that this side of the molecule is going to be negative, And up here, with the xenon, that's going to be positive. So we'll have poles, and we would consider xenon trioxide, this XeO3, to be a polar molecule. This is Dr. B looking at the polarity of xenon trioxide, XeO3. It is polar. Thanks for watching.